Plus, a lot of you have may know, there's a new update coming to Arcane Odyssey that will allow you to build structures and terraform islands. Now, this description leaves a lot of people wondering, how and why is this necessary for the development of Arcane Odyssey? Well, today we will be going over all of that and showing how the clan building update will work. But real quick, if you don't want to have to go through a bunch of socials like the Trello, the patch notes, Twitter, the Discord, watching every single devlog, please subscribe. It really helps me out and it just makes my life a whole lot better. We recently hit 3,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you enough. And uh, maybe we could hit 4,000 by the end of the year. That would be crazy. But if you can do that, I really appreciate it. And we give away seasonals every month in the Discord server. And yeah, with this said, we can talk about the building tool. So the way you will build is you have a hammer in your inventory. And as of right now, I'm unsure how we obtain this. But how this works is you use this tool on a claimed island and it'll show you a UI like this. And it has four four tabs defense civilization decoration and terraform defense is the walls all that stuff decoration is like the little crates you see everywhere tables chairs terraform is stone edges small grounds small stones all that stuff you docks are also under the terraforming so you can add a dock to your island and it has multiple modes those being building clear space regrow and deleting clear space allows you to clear out areas and when you click on a tree or debris it actually plays a little cool animation as if you actually broke it and it does not grow back however regrow Regrow is a tool you can use to click and throw back the tree or destructible rock that you decided to break. As you can see in the corner of the UI, there's also an option to save, load, or unclaim. The save button is obvious. It saves what you have. The load button loads what you built. And unclaim does exactly as it says. It unclaims the island as the YouTuber Select Torch found out the hard way when he unclaimed his island accidentally. So don't do that. It might seem that we're extremely limited as to where we can place things, but we can actually change the rotation increment and the grid. So we can change snap points with Q, press E to toggle the grid, R and F are going to be rotate, V is going to be changing the rotation increment. You can also type that from what I've seen. You can click on number and type it to whatever degree you want. You can reset your rotation and you can cancel it. You might have noticed that this is going to be a pretty expensive update as just placing a thin surface costs 150 galleons so you might want to save up as it is going to cost a thousand galleons to do very small changes to islands as for some of the structures you can do you can do your clan flag you can build your own watchtower you can place working bounty boards tents walls with gates and just so much more it is really cool now none of this answers the question of why truthfully i think the reason why is just because it's fun it adds more content to the game for new and returning players to keep them on longer games like minecraft really only exist because of the ability to free build and hopefully this will bring amazing builders to arcane odyssey to do just crazy stuff and for the people who want just story content we are getting story content i don't think the level is getting increased but we are getting story content new animation packs and so much more than just building on an island clans will be able to change their logo if they regret setting one i don't know why that wasn't a feature sooner but but they will and this is just all around a great update if you think this is going to be an amazing update comment down below if you don't let us know why with this said you should check out this video where i talk about the new visuals for shockwaves in arcane odyssey and have a wonderful day